Thank you, thank you very much. And don't forget, this video was made possible by my patrons on Patreon. Want to support me? The link is on the screen. Sincerely yours, Visual Pony, and enjoy this audiobook. Know your mare. Practice round. Lu. Darn it. You told him, didn't you? No, it may have slipped. Slip doesn't exist with you. What do you suppose we do? I have no idea. Why are you looking at me like that? Distraction? No. Granny, come on. No! I'll do backup. No! I'll banish Cadence to the puppet dimension. What were the lyrics again? That's a spirit. You're gonna give me a pass, right? But of course, young Pipsqueak. I respect you greater by the act of pulling away rather than pushing forward. Thanks, Princess. How are your cohorts? Sure, they're fine. Probably found something to pass our time. Most likely. Would you care to play a round of Metal Gear with me? So long as it ain't twin snakes. Liquid makes me feel bad. On the stage of Know Your Mare, Discord stood tall with a dull expression. He glanced about for a second before clearing his throat. Ah, uh, mares and stallions. I regret to admit that our dear Black will not be performing tonight. So for your entertainment, we have arranged a distraction. With a bowing gesture, Discord slithered off of stage, an unmistakable smirk across his mug. Brought to you by the lyrical stylings of Miss Queenie. Snake is currently in your boat, Harlots. Luna ignored Pip's presence as she began to mow down enemy targets in her game. The lights dimmed on the stage slowly, while at the same time bringing a smaller stage out from the floor housing the Changeling Queen Chrysalis. Her expression was in quiet rage and only grew more so as the sound of drums and light piano work started to fill the room. I hate my life. There's a fire going on, but the party's just begun. So keep your focus looking at me tonight. Her voice took the same shamed tones that her face had, but she continued on nonetheless. So the world's about to end, gonna party with my friends. You don't have any friends. And ain't nobody gonna say it's not right. Chrysalis snapped with a flaring glance up into the host box. And I know nothing's gonna stand in my... All right. Enough. The music cut off with a sharp scratch as Chrysalis stomped her hoofs into the stage. This is ridiculousness. No pony wants to hear me sing this song. Oh, but you were doing so well. I'm out of here. Her wings <laughs> furrowing and buzzing in rage, the queen stepped off of the stage. One of these days I'll get a full song sung on this show. Someday.